I'm really curious to see where you know animation in China comes comes from you know not just the market opening but also what they're learning then from the stories in in the west and and how they can apply that they seem to have this like crazy thing for detail mm, like mm. that i've seen quite a few an- animated shorts come out of china there's a good um there's a really good little independent studio called wolf smoke productions yeah tell me um, they made a short called Kung Fu Cooking Girls. Uh, they made a <laughs> short film called Batman of Shanghai. Yeah, they're as wacky as they sound. Wow, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Kung Fu Cooking <laughs> Girls. And um, You're right but I just I was floored by the detail and how they. I I can only imagine they're they're young guys. Like from the description of their yeah. studio, I went to Annecy as well and picked up a little uh, leaflet. I went round all the international stores. Oh, amazing! And yeah. they had Wolf Smoke Productions at, at the China store. Um, not the actual creators, unfortunately, but they had like the leaflets. They had the films showing and stuff. And so I was able to read a little bit from those little leaflets about yeah. who they are. And there's only about three three guys, and and they and two. I think two out of the three are, are like their day jobs are as software engineers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and then they make like these incredibly detailed animations, like really dynamic animations wow. yeah. in their spare time. Um, they, their film was actually playing at Annecy, their new short film, which was like a lot more uh, quiet, a lot more slow. What was it these, called? Like, oh, I can't remember. What was it about? The... It was about this kind of, it was in this fantasy land yeah with this kind of bounty hunter slash pest control <laughs> guy who um used like wizardry to kind of locate and fight this um this monster that was in this village it was it was wild i think i it saw really that I, I, either i Did saw the trailer it? or maybe i saw it i've a vague recollection of it it's it's beautiful like yeah. the the backgrounds look like i'm not sure yeah. if they are but they look like authentic watercolors with these kind of oh, autumn wow. tones yeah. yeah i mean jaw-droppingly beautiful mm. um mm. i don't know where i was going with this but yeah wolf smoke <laughs> productions is like one out of quite a few examples i saw yeah. uh i think there's another one called like uh something like master jang in the six kingdoms which is looks like it's a trailer for like a bigger thing yeah uh again though it's a short uh okay, there's yeah. also this um there's a fight scene that people keep begging me to to talk about <laughs> it's called um fog hill five fog hill of the five elements i think okay yeah but they're all like okay they, there are some there are some traits that seem to link them yeah they seem to like um brushwork like okay. uh interesting in, yeah you know a, a bit like a kind of callback to chinese inking methods yes yeah 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 on 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 paper and yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you look at kanji and the calligraphy the yeah. way they move the the brush is is a beautiful technique and they they definitely seem to have kept that yeah. or an, at least an aspect of it yeah. and the other thing is detail they love detail and they're able they will go like I, some of them you just think oh they've done like a shading pass they've done yeah. a detail pass they've done a lighting pass yeah they didn't need to do all of that <laughs> <laughs> but they did but they did it anyway yeah oh what was the uh, film i saw from out of china um Big Fish and Begonia. Oh yeah, I saw that. Oh, Big Fish yeah. Begonia. That yeah. was really, really cool. Yeah, and I could cool. definitely see some, um, some uh, elements of, of Japanese influences. Oh yeah, a big, um, a big Ghibli influence as well. Big you know? Ghibli influence. Yeah. Like they had this kind of Yubaba like character. <laughs> yeah, in the in the from uh, Spirited the Away. Temple. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was a good film. There is. It was a, there really is, um, good. Really a, good film. Yeah, a, I saw one called Neja, which is like a, about this. Uh, it's like an old story about this kid who basically is. I don't know how did in the film or the subtitles it was called the demon pill, and they're supposed to um, fight this other kid who had like the god pill or something. And <laughs> but the 
the demon pill as the protagonist the kid and like how everyone always you know makes fun of him and he's shunned from society because even though he he's still a human he just has these kind of crazy outbursts because of how he was shunned and it's a really it's a nice beautiful little film of like you know the the negative aspects of bullying and you mm. know judging a book by its cover and all that stuff um it sounded from the pitch a bit like uh, a bit like naruto it, it could no, be yeah it, like, <laughs> yeah, it yeah it just um, goes to show that there's like influences from all over the place 